Thank you, Mark. Six bikes stolen from a Grand Rapids family. Video of three people pawning those bikes. Next on 24 Hour News 8, an interview with the man you see on this tape with those bikes. He has quite a story that he's telling. Also, live reaction from our newsroom from the man whose family lost all those bikes. That's coming up next. Now to the hard luck story behind a stolen bike caper that we followed for days. Our crews tracking down the man caught on this surveillance tape trying to pawn the bicycles as his 12-year-old relative is arrested for the crimes. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks live with how this family is living and their explanations on that video. Leon? Well, Brian, they say they're not the ones that stole the bike. Stan Boyton, we're outside of one of the many places that has helped to take care of him and the boys, Matthew's House Ministry, here on the northwest side. He says he got caught up in a scheme. He says he knew that something was fishy about it, but needed the money that it was going to net. Got here, ran into problems. For Stan Boynton and the boys, this has been home. In the woods in Grand Rapids, on the run after this video hit the press. And the landlord of his mobile home told him he had to go. We all love each other and everything else, and we're, we're going to stick together. We're going to do what to survive. Boynton says he had been taking care of the boys pictured here with him at E&J's pawn shop. He says they had moved from out of state to find a better life. But here they found anything but. Since we have came to Michigan, we have been through pure hell. Boynton says he and the boys were panhandling when they met a guy who offered them a quick way to make 30 bucks. He told them to pawn the bikes and that he'd give them part of the profit, but the pawn shop didn't accept a deal. Boynton says he then gave the bikes back to the man. He admits he knew something wasn't right about the transaction, but had bigger priorities on his mind. I knew it was strange and I knew it was odd, but the one thing I was thinking about is eating and taking care of the two boys. But for Boynton, he says that was the end of his involvement, which lends to an obvious question. Why are you running? Why is he running? Because I know they don't want to hear it. And I know that. I mean, it, 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 it's, I, I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm not, I'm not Mr. Perfect, all right? You know, I've been, I've been, I've, I've been, I've been to jail, I've been to prison and everything, so I know, you know, and I'm not going to sit in jail. Now back here live, Boynton says that he plans to take his disability check that he's getting tomorrow and he and the boys are heading back to the state that they came from. He says he has no intention on turning himself in, although he is sorry about the stolen bikes. Reporting live in Grand Rapids on the northwest side, Leon Hendricks, 24 Hour News 8. Thank you, Leon. I'm here at the live desk with the man whose family lost all those six bikes. His name is Mick O'Brien. You were just watching Leon's story with me, Mr. O'Brien. Can you give me your reaction to what you heard from Stanley? Well, I'm a little shocked to see him uh, come forward on the air like this, but I, I would say um, I, I wouldn't believe a word this guy says. I've uh, had a lot of people tip me off to this guy recently, and every one of them said, this guy's a liar, you can't believe anything he says. Now his step-nephew, who's 12 years old, one of the boys in this surveillance video that we've been playing this week on the air, has been arrested. What Correct. did the police tell you about that boy, the other boy, and the man? Well, the, the youngest one was arrested, and, and they thought possibly it was a voluntary. He wanted to come out um, and get some food and whatever. But he admitted to everything. He, he knew the details of how we were robbed. He knew the, the bikes that were taken. Um, and there's no question in my mind that, that they uh, stole from us. Um, the, other, the other information on the um, adult is that he's still on the run and that um, the 15-year-old, is they've got uh, records and they're, they're just trying to evade the police at this point. Now, they're claiming that they're living <coughs> in the woods because their pictures were on that video and everybody could see them, uh, but that they have no money, that they were stealing for food. What's your reaction to that claim? Well, you know, I don't want this guy to get sympathy, although uh, the kids deserve sympathy for not having food, but you don't steal from people, and you don't steal from my kids if you don't have any money. Um, that's just the wrong thing to do. And, and as I said, everyone who's come in contact with this guy has told me this is his character. He, he'll lie to you and he'll, he'll cheat you. Mick O'Brien, I thank you so much. Uh, you haven't gotten the bikes back yet. Do you have any hope of getting them back? Well, I think our, our hopes would go up if we could apprehend um, Stan. And Stan, if you're innocent, why don't you turn yourself in and, and let the cops sort it out? Um, but no, I've got flyers out. We're still trying to find the bikes. All right, Mick O'Brien, I really appreciate you coming into the newsroom to watch that with Thank us. Thank you for the opportunity.
Ryan. A string of sunny days.